Along with Red Dead Redemption 2 coming this Friday, the Red Dead Redemption 2 official companion app will be available for iOS and Android at the launch of the game this coming Friday. And a couple screenshots of the companion app. Looks like it's on an iTablet or an iPad. I guess that's what it's called. So a bit of the map, a little taste of the map, even though I realize the map is already out there in the world. It exists. Feel free and go find it yourself. I'm not going to spoil it. But anyways, a little small part of the map. I guess this is where you are in the Heartlands. And you currently have $10 on you. Uh, looks like a house, a cowboy hat, along with the settings, uh, maybe a help guide thing. And down here is your cores for the heart, uh, stamina, your dead eye, and of course your horse's stamina and uh, its health. So there we go. That's uh, pretty much that image. Hide from the law. Hunt your enemies and find the nearest general store in other key locations with the interactive map feature in the Red Dead Redemption 2 official companion app. So I'm guessing you're going to be able to use this as kind of like a map on you, on your person. So if you got your iPhone or you got your iPad or you got a tablet or you got your uh, Android and you want to like pretend it's your map instead of, I guess, looking at the map, which will probably be a fog of war setting. I think that's what it's going to be, a fog of war setting. You could just use that as an actual quote unquote map. So your smartphone, your tablet is now your map. Okay, that's... It's kind of interesting. It's kind of a creative way to use the companion app. I'm sure that's not the only thing it's going to be able to do. The Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app connects directly with your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One as you play, delivering real-time interactive information to your smart device. Available for download on October 26 for both iOS and Android. You can pan and zoom the maps at waypoints or mark areas of interest with a tap on your screen aiding your exploration and discovery throughout the expansive world of Red Dead Redemption 2. And there's a bit more down here. We'll look at the uh, image in a moment. Examine Arthur Morgan's journal with new entries, illustrations appearing as you progress through Red Dead Redemption 2's story. The app will also show you Arthur Morgan's core info, stats in real time on your device, allowing you to completely remove the in-game HUD from your television should you choose. Additionally, the companion lets you examine Arthur's in-game journal, provides stat tracking through the social club, contains full digital game manual, plus an optional digital version of Red Dead Redemption 2 complete official guide from piggyback and more. So. I guess you can purchase a digital version of the official guide through piggyback. Hopefully it's uh, cheaper than uh, getting the uh, hard copy. I'm old fashioned. I'd rather have the actual, you know, physical copy myself. All right. So let's look at this image really quick, but we're not done yet though. We got some stuff on Twitter to look at as well. And this is from Arthur's journal and it looks like uh, maybe like a courthouse or something, or maybe a mansion. It looks more like a courthouse. And this is what it says. It's cursive. I know some of you are probably like, what's that What's that strange language on the screen? It's, it's called cursive. I know most people write in print, myself included. I might be on to something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and last or figured out where we was hiding. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Hosiah brought us down to Blackwater, so this could actually be something that Arthur writes down leading up to the infamous 1899 robbery. That's, I guess, how the game's going to start. That goes terribly wrong, leading to the Blackwater Massacre and to the Vanderling Gang fleeing across the mountains and the Grizzlies. So it's possible that this may be the very first entry in Arthur's journal, which you can check out via the Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app. Now let's go over to the official Rockstar Twitter because they posted some old timey looking photos and they're really cool looking. They were doing it all day long. I was waiting until they, they got them all collected. Plus I did go watch Halloween during the uh, matinee time. There's like half a dozen people there. It was perfect and much cheaper than a night showing. Dutch and Oziah. The originals. Dutch and Oziah met in their early 20s. Two talented young con men with similar quote unquote gentleman thief aspirations and subversive ideals. They ran as a two-man team for a few years until they started picking up waifs and strays along the way. The next image is a family that we're kind of sort of familiar with. 
Abigail, Jack, and John, an unconventional family. John has been in the gang ever since Dutch saved his life when he was just 12 years old. Abigail joined up with Dutch five or six years ago, and for young Jack, the gang is all he has ever known. By the way, at this current point in 1899, it is confirmed that even though they've had at least one kid, technically they also have a daughter, but she passes away. I don't know if that happens before or after Jack, or maybe it hasn't transpired yet, and maybe that's one of the things that'll happen in the game. I don't know. But anyways, at this point, technically, Abigail and John are not married. Abigail is still going by Abigail Roberts. So it's quite possible that we may see the infamous wedding proposal at gunpoint that Abigail alludes to in Red Dead Redemption. Now we're going to look at a few of the gangs featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe not all the gangs, but we'll check out some of them. Some rivals. The Vanderlink gang aren't the only outlaws in the West. One such band of desperados and mercenaries are the Del Lobos, known for their vicious robberies and revenge killings. And obviously I'm putting up the photos for you guys to view while I read over this little quick bio so you guys can check out the old timey-wimey photos, by the way, linked over at the Rockstar Twitter page for you guys to go check out yourself. The O'Driscolls, a long-standing rival of Dutch's gang, are a big crew that cover a lot of ground, attracting a seemingly endless supply of young guns ready to risk it all. And the third gang that Rockstar revealed today is the one we know and love so dear, the Vanderlyn Gang, Outlaws for Life. A gang of criminals, dissidents, and free thinkers who have chosen to reject a corporate system of power and live instead by their own code. As the price on their heads continues to grow, so does the struggle to remain free. In case you're wondering, here is the order from top left to right. You have Charles Smith, Sadie Adler, Arthur Morgan, Dutch Vanderlyn, Hosiah, Micah Bell, and from bottom left to right, you have Shane McGuire, Bill Williamson, some guy sitting on the steps brooding, apparently. I think he just wants a nicer hat. Then over there on the right side, you have Javier Escuela, and finally, Lenny Summers. So there you go. A lot of the members of the Duchess gang, not all of them, several of them were left out, like Tilly, Mary Beth, Karen... Uh, see Pearson and a few others as well but I really did like checking out these old-timey photos that Rockstar made I'm sure they may post more of them tomorrow they're probably gonna add these to a new section over on the official Red Dead Redemption 2 website and if they do I'll definitely cover that tomorrow along with any more official confirmed information from Rockstar but Rockstar wasn't the only one to drop some info for us technically this is not new we went over the early access content a few weeks ago but this is the first time we actually get to see it in a, a video, courtesy of PlayStation over on Twitter. Get your first look at Red Dead Redemption 2's PlayStation 4 early access content with more to come in Red Dead Online. Now, I personally do not approve of early access content or exclusive content. I believe that all this content should be available for both consoles, day one, Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as Red Dead Online for PS4 and Xbox One, but unfortunately, I'm not exactly in the position to make that call. But anyways, let's check out the video regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 over on the PS4. 30-day early access content. First off, Grizzly's outlaw outfit looks really sweet looking. The red chestnut Arabian horse. Uh, it's going to be fast and it's going to have good handling. The alligator skin ranch cutter saddler. Good health and stamina. And finally, the high roller double action revolver. All those available in Red Dead Online. Plus, there's going to be more to come. Now, I believe that this is possibly our first actual glimpse of Red Dead Online. Clearly, that is not Arthur Morgan. It is possibly a male character that we can create and customize. Hopefully, we'll have way more customization options in Red Dead Online than we have in Grand Theft Auto Online. And there is also a female version of Red Dead Online character that comes up right here. So, once again, we'll be able to create a male or a female character for us to play Red Dead Online whenever it comes out in beta form sometime in November. And we see a little bit of the customization that we're going to have clothing-wise, and hopefully that's going to be a lot. Clothing, weapons, obviously we'll be able to use the holsters to actually put our weapons in. I would imagine that it'll probably be similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, where we're not going to be able to walk around with a full arsenal. 
But at the same time, I hope that there's a variety of different uh, body options instead of a generic male and a generic female body. Like in Grand Theft Auto Online, I would very much like there to be like a skinny, petite, uh, muscular, obese, etc. So that you can further customize your Red Dead Online character to your heart's content. And there you go. All the information that we went over in the vid today or this evening, tonight, this morning wherever you happen to be in the world when you watch it. And yes, once again, as soon as I'm able to start streaming Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm definitely going to get started. It probably won't be till late Thursday night, early Friday morning. But if Rockstar happens to be watching or you know came across my uh, you know message to them on Twitter, I wouldn't mind having early access you know via my preload over on the PS4 Pro, but... Uh, chances are that's probably not going to happen for me. Anyways, feel free to let me know in the comments section your thoughts regarding the companion app as well as the old-timey photos, as well as your thoughts regarding early access content below in the comment section. 